Hello. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute. Um, this video is a couple weeks late because we actually had the ever lovely COVID um, come through our house. So my boyfriend got it. It was about two weeks that we couldn't do anything. So pretty stressful. I actually ended up not getting it. Or if I did, I was asymptomatic, but I never had symptoms. And I did test once in the middle and I was negative. So who knows, I might just be lucky or <laughs> whatever that is. But yeah, so I thought I would do something a little bit different because obviously I didn't keep up with my physio in that time. We just kind of stayed isolated in the house. So I'm going to do a little bit of a different video for this week. I'm just going to do a bit of a week in the life um, of me with all my rehab. It's Tuesday today, so you don't get Monday. Sorry, I wasn't organized enough. But yeah, I'm just going to take you guys along with me for all of my different physios and stuff that I do for my knee. Today I don't have physio, but I'm going to take the dog to the park right now, um, let her run around a bit, and then I have a client at the gym, and then I am going to do my own rehab at the gym. So I'll see if I can take a couple videos there when I'm at the gym. Um, and then I have physio tomorrow and Friday this week. I already had physio yesterday, so I've been doing physio roughly three, four times a week. I also have physio on Saturday this week. <laughs> Um, but that's probably gonna be cut back because they're not gonna do as much manual manipulation to my knee since my range of motion is coming back Thankfully, it's been a long time <laughs> um, But yeah, so anyways, I'll see you guys in a sec that's so funny. <laughs> I love it Oh my goodness go So here is my gym session. So I normally start with, um, well, I was doing about a 20 minute warm up. Now I'm up to about half an hour. I try to split it between um, the elliptical and sometimes the treadmill. And then I get on to the exercises. So this first one I always do for my warm up. It's called, I believe, terminal knee extensions. Um, so I take a band. Wrap it around. I put that bow ball in a terrible spot now. Um, wasn't thinking. So I wrap it around my legs and oh, I'm starting with squats here. Um, so squats are also what I do for my warm up. I have to put it around my affected leg to keep my knee out. Otherwise, I still get a bit of a snapping motion in my knee there. Um, so this just helps keep it in alignment. And then I do terminal knee extensions. Um, yeah, I usually do those the other way around, but that is okay. So you want it to be high enough, and I'm basically just doing a little bit of a squat, and then I'm really working on extending my knee back to get it as straight as I possibly can. I still have trouble straightening my leg, so um, this is a really good one just to help get the muscles all working around that and see if I can keep it straight. So this next one, um, like I say, that BOSU ball is in the wrong place for this, um, so I apologize for that. But I am standing on my affected leg balancing and I have the band around my leg and I'm doing a kicking motion with my not affected legs, not surgery leg. And basically it just works all of the glute muscles in the outside of my leg. I do a little bit of a different angle there um, for stabilizing as so my external rotators of my hip which I had a bit of an issue with, so I'm working on that. And then overall, just legs and knee stability as well. This next one here is my one-legged glute bridges on an upside down bosu ball. So still bringing in the stability, working on hamstring, core, and glute strength. Um, so I start with my good leg. Um, as you can see, looks pretty good. My body <laughs> twisted a little bit there, but um, stays pretty straight, plank leg position, reverse plank leg position. Um, so it's, I don't have a arch in my back, I don't have a dip in my back. Um, yeah. Now when I get to my surgery leg, <laughs> you can see it's a lot harder um, for me to activate the right muscles. I'm a lot more wobbly. 
I'm definitely trying harder and doing a few things incorrectly with that. Um, but that has come a long way. I, like I said, I'm a bit behind, so I did take these a good week and a half ago. Um, so that is coming. I am getting stronger. I had a bit of problems with my editing computer, so I was not able to edit this sooner. Um, and then I just do some core in between because core is always good for you. These are just like leg lifted crunches and then I go to oblique crunches and go opposite elbow towards the opposite hip and then switch sides. And then back to the um, one legged bridges. Oh, and there I think I was worried that I was too deep of an angle so I switched back to just regular bridges, but it was fine. Then I did a little stretching. And then I switched this around so that I um, could show you guys. I did take this video from the other view, but you couldn't see me. So I switched my phone around. So I apologize for the profile. But um, this is my one-legged BOSU ball balance for stability. And I'm just basically pay playing pass with myself, throwing um, a weighted ball. So I don't know, that's probably two or three pounds back and forth, trying to disrupt my balance. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Love the BOSU ball. It's great for any sort of rehab or, you know, injury. Do it from the front for ya. And then these are um, squats on the BOSU ball. So I'm really focusing on keeping my knees out, using the correct muscles in my hips, which is why I'm grabbing them there, making sure that my right side of my hip doesn't pop forward like it has done in the past because that causes my knee to turn in. So if I keep my hip back, my knee won't turn in and compensate, which is always good because if it heals incorrectly because it's compensating, then I will not have a very good time trying to do everything normally again. And then lately I've just been finishing on the treadmill for about five minutes, trying to make my walking as normal on each side as I possibly can. So just watching my feet and trying to make them look the same. All right, guys, so as you would have seen, I just finished at the gym. I'm sweaty, which is kind of nice. It was a long time before I could actually do exercises that made me sweaty. So that's good. Um, yeah, I'm definitely doing a lot more like stability stuff and actual ACL rehab now, which is super nice. Before I was doing a lot of meniscus rehab, I guess, because of the root tear. But yeah, I'm at the point with my range of motion where I can start doing more actual like stability, ACL, rehab, stuff like that. Can't wait till I can run. Not quite there yet. Still trying to work on walking without a limp, but fingers crossed we'll get there soon. So it's 5.30-ish, still light out, which is amazing. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go home, get the horses their food and figure out some dinner for me and then stretch my leg because that's what I do all day, every day to try to get that extension back. So I will be able to walk one day. <laughs> Can't wait for that. This is my feral barn cat <laughs> on his perch. It took me three years before he would let me pet him. He's still not very sure about anything, but he loves pets now up on his perch. You can't pet him if he's not on his perch because he's scared, but he just sits and waits. And the moment you stop, his tail just like starts shaking because he wants you to, you to pet him again. He's the best. You would have seen his legs flying through because I had my phone set up on his perch. But yeah, ponies hay bags done. I'm going to give them their big ones now and I put them in with their little ones later. They all stay in different pens because I have three. If you haven't seen my horse videos, the mini horse gets too fat if she eats the other one's hay. And probably eats Sadie's hay at night if uh, I have them all together. So they're done and off to find me some dinner now. And I'll fill your bowl too, okay? I'll fill your bowl too. Yeah. Are you purring? Yes. Good morning. Just have my coffee. 
Stretching my legs straight. Just did the horses. Don't mind their food bucket next door. So I showed this way in a video a while back, but I basically just put my foot up on. <laughs> it's a Mad Barn supplement bin. The weight on my knee to help stretch it because it still doesn't go completely straight, which is why I can't walk perfectly yet. And then that's what the knee is looking like these days. Uh, if you've been with me from the start of this journey, this is the new scar and it used to be a lot more red. And then these little puncture holes, let's see, that one, that one, and there's one over there, are new and that one's new. And then that one, and this one, and this one that goes horizontal is from the first time. So that one's new, that's the old. Yeah, just having coffee, gonna take the dogs to the park, and then head to Physio, a town over at the hospital today. Right, Gally? Hi. All right, so I've just gotten to the hospital for my Physio. It's oh, parking here is always just a joke. There's a parkade, but I'm literally in the tiniest spot right now because people park not very great. Um, yeah, I don't think I will be able to record in the hospital very much because they have signs everywhere saying not to, but yeah, usually spend about 45 minutes with this physiotherapist and work a lot on my exercises. So I will show you guys later if she gives me any new exercises. So I just left the hospital and they added um, plyometric stuff today. So she got me doing some hops and some jumping and I tried to run for the first time, which was really fun. I'm not quite there yet. Um, need to get the hopping on one foot first, I think. I will show you guys tonight when I get home the different stuff that we added today. But yeah, it was pretty good. My knee's a little sore now, but overall, okay. Now I am just off to a client, um, and I'll be back home, so I'll catch up with you then. All right, back home from work. Um, why are you so grumpy? <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I did, I just did one client, and now I'm just going to do some raking in the horse's pen. Snow is all starting to melt, so it's absolutely disgusting in here right now because all of the manure that we couldn't pick up or got snowed on or whatever is coming out, so I'm just going to rake it. I still can't um, lift and push the wheelbarrow quite yet because it is quite slippery still and just like, I don't know, pressure and heavy and twisting on my knee is bad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to rake it into piles and then hopefully Josh, when he gets home, will be able to pick up the piles for me and I'm gonna do hay and then go inside and sit because my knee is quite sore um but yeah so what I've just been kind of dealing with right now is I am doing this this week because I am actually set to go back to work at the clinic job that I work at next week for reduced hours kind of return to work stuff but I've been getting really bad nerve pain in my feet um and then down my right leg when I kind of do too much, like going for a half hour walk or something. So we'll see how that goes. But that's kind of just what I spent a lot of time today talking with my physio about. And yeah, I'm really hoping that standing is not going to make it worse. And that as I get used to standing more, it'll make it better. But if it makes it worse, then I'm going to cross that bridge when it comes to it. You're so sweet. Hi. She has to have a muzzle on because the other two get 24-7 hay. And she is quite large right now. She's got her winter body going on. Um, and it would just not be healthy for her to be very overweight. So she's a little thing, right? You really don't like it though. She comes over here to ask me to take it off. But she only has it on for part of the day. No, like maximum four hours at a time. So yeah, still keeps her digestion going and she can actually eat through it. <laughs> she uh, goes and eats all of the droppings and little bits from the other horses. So it's not like she can't eat it all, but just keeps her from being too unhealthy. Well, 
I'm back at the gym with a very sore knee today. So I had taught my fitness class this morning for the first time since my surgery. And I've had two clients and I have my last client right now, but yeah. So I didn't show you guys. Hi team, I got cut off in the gym earlier. Um, my client showed up, but I am home now. My knee is so sore today. Um, just the new exercises at physio yesterday. Yeah, I literally, after I did the horses last night, I just got inside and I was so tired and exhausted. I couldn't do my exercises and now my knee is definitely too sore. So I'm going to have to show you those maybe tomorrow. I have physio again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Friday, so it'll probably be the last day I do these updates. Hello. Oh, daddy, put your <laughs> mask on. There you go. <laughs> Wonder when he did that. Um... Yeah, and then I my week of rehab will be, well, maybe I'll do a little bit on Saturday. I do actually have physio on Saturday this week too, so maybe I'll do a little bit on Saturday as well. But yeah, so I'm just going to do the horse's pens again. I'm not going to show you that because I showed you that yesterday. Um, and then I am probably going to have a chill night of not a lot today. I did do... The bike and the elliptical for a bit at the gym today and it took a long time even on the bike for my knee to settle down so i'm just going to use today as a rest break and i've learned in rehab and dealing with my own clients in rehab that you just have to listen to your body my body is telling me right now that i should not be doing a lot so I'm gonna, as much as it kills me i'm going to take a bit of a night off i mean i still have to do horse tours and hay and everything so it's not really a night off but from my exercises and hopefully I will feel well enough to show you guys the new ones tomorrow. This girl is just, hi. I can't take her mask off yet. Not yet. I'm gonna put out hay and once big horses eat, I'll take it off, okay? Anyways, so I will probably sign off for today and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow before or after my physio. I also get my hair cut tomorrow. For the first time in a long time because i wasn't able to go and i couldn't walk so very excited for that <laughs> all right i'll catch up with you soon ready say thanks susan and sam where are you going well hello everyone and happy friday as you can see i've had my hair done um, I had one client this morning before I had my hair done, so didn't have time to check in with you guys then, but I quite like it. Um, anyways, I'm off to physio. Sorry, my face is all, I've been in a mask for like three hours. <laughs> um, yeah, and I just grabbed a little sushi roll to have before I go there. Got about half an hour, and then... We'll see what my physio has to say about all the pain I've been having lately and then see if I can use their Bosu ball there and then maybe I don't have to go to the gym later because Josh is off so hopefully we can have a little bit of, I don't know, a weekend this weekend <laughs> today uh, and then I have physio again tomorrow at 10.30 so yeah, stay tuned. Um, just got out of physio because it is flared up right now and quite sore he just um, did some manual helped me straighten it looked a little bit at like the nerve pain I've been having in my feet so did a couple tests for sciatic and stuff and I wasn't wasn't positive with like zing like zinging nerve stuff people who've had nerve stuff will kind of understand that more but it's definitely a bit discomfort so gave me a couple um, like nerve glides for that told me that I'm not supposed to do the exercises that flared me up today probably but if I have physio tomorrow and I feel good I will put them in then but yeah so just gonna go make a couple more stops before I go home and then do some chores when I get home and it'll be a good Friday Saturday. Oh, are you grumpy now? Cookies and grump. So I had my um, physio this morning. I thought I would just, um, the sun is in my eyes here. Let's see. It's 
stand with you instead, can't we? Oh, but now the sun's behind me and you won't be able to see me. Okay, let's see. There we go. So I thought I would just tell you guys a little bit about what each of my physios do, because I do have so many, which is probably not normal for most people, but because I do work in the industry. Um, <laughs> I, I just put her muzzle on. Um, but because I do work in the industry, I know that there's certain physios that do certain things. Um, so I had a physio at the hospital and she's been doing most of my exercises with me each week. So she'll, um, update my exercises, see how they're going, do a little bit of hands-on stuff, but mostly just exercises. As you can see, um, it's still melting here and very gross. So we are working on raking up all of the old manure that might've been missed, um, as the snow felt, sm fell <laughs> and whatnot, but yeah, it's a little bit gross in here right now. We are working on it. Um, but yeah, and then my other two physios that I kind of see one or the other of them, I actually work with them at the clinic that I work at and they are doing a lot of manual manipulation on my knee. So like when it wasn't bending, they were making it bend when it wasn't extending they were making it extend hey don't go take her okay you stay here um and then the one that i saw today is the newest one that i added in to the mix and she actually looked at my body as a whole and it was really cool um but she's been treating my hip and my foot because if you've been watching my horse stuff for the last little while, are you having a good day, Bubblehead? It's so nice and sunny. She was just sunbathing in the field. Mwah. Anyways, um, if you've been watching my horse stuff for a while, you'll know that I could not really weight my right leg before my surgery very well in the stirrup. And I thought it was just due to um, my knee being sore, but my right hip is actually stuck in internal rotation. So it's like was stuck and locked forward. Um, and then that is basically causing compensation for my knee. So my knee was twisted in and then it was causing my foot to twist in as well. So she's been treating and trying to, hi, unlock my hip, um, with needles and fix my ankle so that, um, basically if I realign them, they are, so my knee is compensating for my hip and my ankle so it's happening so that's why it caused like it's been taking so long for me to recover when it would normally take someone less time because my knee was actually compensating for the other parts of my body which could have been why i snapped my acl this time around again as well um oh thank you you're gonna block the sun for me <laughs> so anyways she's been doing that and that's been really helpful so i walk out of her clinic and i can walk better and i can do all these things and i'm able to wait my right side more because she actually fixes problems um that are then causing my knee problems everyone's coming to see me hi 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 um so yeah so she needled me today in my hip and my calf and loosened um up the muscles and when everything's back in alignment my knee works pretty well. So I just now have to focus on loosening up those areas myself before I do the exercises and then um, continuing to keep that range of motion in my knee. Uh, so, I'll so if you look, let's see if I can get close. Yeah, so I have like a stab wound there where you can see and then some other little stab marks in my calf from where she needled me. Well, she needled me today, Nancy. Um, and then she also did like my whole outside external rotators through my hip and a little bit at the front and the side. Um, and needling, if you don't know what needling is, it's like IMS. It's called so intramuscular stimulation or dry needling. Um, you are such a jerk. You make them all run. <laughs> hey, come back here. So anyways, dry needling and it basically just helps the muscles release. It's very bad right? lighting. Um, and yeah, so that's what I had done today. So she actually looked at the exercises too and figured out, um, so basically what happens when my knee compensates for my hip and my ankle is the biomechanics of my knee start going backwards. So basically when you bend your knee, your tibia, so the bone between 
your knee and your ankle is supposed to rotate um, a little bit in to allow your patella to track evenly. Hi. Um, but mine was actually going backwards. So as I bent my knee, my tibia was rotating out. And then when I extended, it was coming back in and it's supposed to be opposite, but it was doing that because it was compensating for the hip and the ankle, even though my knee is the area that's been injured and had surgery. So yes, um, that is what was happening with me. So when she fixes the ankle and the knee, it actually makes the biomechanics at my knee correct. Um, sorry, ankle and hip, it fixes the biomechanics at my knee, allows it to move. So she went over the exercises that we did on Wednesday that really flared me up. Um, and I will show you the ones that she says I can still do that won't flare me up until I just get those muscles stronger that she releases so that they don't keep grabbing and keep um, sending me back basically and reversing my biomechanics. And I will try to video a little bit tonight of my exercises that I'm allowed to do um, that were added this week and show you a little bit about what the biomechanics at my knee should look like. So I will do that tonight. But I just thought I would give you guys this little update on the sunshine with my ponies. Oh, yes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so I will show you guys that today or tonight later and then that'll probably be the end of this one It probably hasn't been a very interesting video really so sorry about that I just thought I would kind of give you guys a little bit of an insight into my schedule and why I see different physios What I've been doing overall to help with my knee I would have normally been in the gym a lot more this week I try to go every day, but then because I was so flared up and couldn't walk <laughs> yesterday and the day before I obviously wasn't, but yeah. One who has like no hair already shedding. What's with that? Hi, are you gonna help? So yeah, we started hopping on whatever day, Wednesday, but then we had done two-legged hops and one-legged hops and it is clear that the one-legged hops were just a bit too much because I flared up so bad for the next few days and I couldn't do anything. So I'm just gonna show you the two-legged hops today. Literally, um, it's good to do in front of a mirror. I would normally face my window behind me because I can see myself in it. And I'm just really focusing on hopping, trying to get equal weight on both sides so I'm not leaning here as I hop. You know what I mean about her couch? So just like that, really absorbing through my knee. And then I go forward, backwards, side to side. So it's still a little bit, um, not sketchy. Um, it's not smooth <laughs> for sure, just because I don't have the actual uh, stability and strength to really do this well yet. Are you excited? Because I'm hopping. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, I also really still need to work on my toe raises because that's going to help get the strength for pushing off the ground, which I don't have right now. Whole time while I'm doing this, I'm really focusing on, you're worse than a kid, on my glutes and my ankle being in the right alignment where my physio who works on my hips and my ankle has been doing because that helps my knee. You're not helping. I don't think I'm going to get to do too much more of this, but yeah, so basically, and then like I said, we tried hopping on one leg, wasn't good enough, so I'm going to go back to kind of our one-legged stance, really focusing on the right muscles, and then just our little hops, hop, 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 puppy, yeah, so basically I just hop, like whatever variation for 30 seconds, take a break, 30 seconds, take a break, um, times three and then work up from there I can also like be up on a step and jump off and I was way too much on that side that time I could feel it and jump off and that kind of does absorption and impact kind of like if I was riding my horse and doing a jump um so yeah I'm just gonna keep hopping away <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this week you guys um I'm gonna go have an Epsom salt bath after this because I'm still quite sore and I'm back to work next week. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as per normal. Like I said, this wasn't probably the most exciting video. Um, I'm not allowed to film in a lot of the places that I do physio. So that was, you know, not as exciting as it could have been. So I apologize for that. But I did get to show you guys some of my exercises I did. And you kind of saw what my schedule looks like in the life 
of me. Um, I used to go to the pool a lot more before I was doing the exercises in the gym, but now I go to the gym a lot more. And I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to keep that up while I'm back to work. So thanks again. And if you guys are liking these videos, please subscribe to my channel to see my whole journey back into the saddle. Or if you like horses and the eventing side, I do have more of those videos coming your way as well. So thanks guys. Have a great night or morning or day, whatever it is, <laughs> whatever time it is that you're watching. <laughs> Bye.